So, this is my carpet roses. Today is the mid-March. The weather is getting better. So I'm going to prune them hard. So as you can see, leave this as, as it is from last year. You then just prune them right on the bottom. You see this one here? So you can cut up to there. I used to leave the established trunks because it's good to have an established trunks for me, in my opinion. This one is established trunks, it's a bit bigger, older. The last for a few years, and I can see some shoots going. Oh, tangled. So I'm just starting down here at the bottom and carry on. There we have it. I prune my carpet roses. Some of them I prune them right hard to the bottom, like this. Some of them I leave it as it is. Looks like now fully bloomed. It's absolutely gorgeous. Carpet roses. Again, this was to grow on the floor, but I trained them up and it's become a wall of roses every now and then you have to deadhead some of the flowers like so this one you just have to cut them to allow the new buds to grow and let them have some sun so yeah it's amazing um i just have to tie this up a bit more so it looks like there are more flowers in the middle there But yeah, this is my wall of roses that grew year after year after year. Aren't they just gorgeous?